Proverbs 4.18, the path of the just, or the just just means the righteous, or the right standing with God, is like the light of dawn that shines brighter and brighter until, it says the perfect day or the fullness of the day, depending on the uh, translation, and it means it reaches its full strength of glory. That means when you enter finally into the fullness of the glory of who you are Come in on. him. That's the fullness of the day. That's Christ in me, right? That's Paul talking about that maturing, that um, I've been uh, laboring till Christ be formed in you. That's what he's doing, right? So in Psalm 84, verse 1 says, How lovely are the dwelling places, O Lord, of hosts. My soul longed and even yearned for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. The bird also has found a house and a swallow a nest for herself. Now, they don't live there. They never live there. Where she may lay her young, it's where we can bring life, right? Finally bring life. Even your altars, altars O Lord of hosts, my King, my God. How blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. And by the way, his house isn't in the by and by. His house is always open right now for us to enter. Come on, yeah. Selah. How blessed, David says, how blessed is the man whose strength is in you. Are you ready? In whose heart are the highways to Zion? <laughs> so where's the highway to Zion? It's in your heart. That is wild. And this is Come how on. you get there. Now listen, passing through the valley of Baca, and Baca means a valley of weeping or the barren desert where no, there's no means of living. You want to know where everybody is in carnality? It's in Baca or Baca. It's that there's a barren desert with no means of living. Wow. That's why people are perishing all around us all the time. They're in Baca. It says, they make it a spring. That's what we can do here. That's what you'll feel as we share tonight. A spring will spring up. The early rain covers it with blessings. They go from strength to strength, and every one of them appears before God in Zion. This is what God is doing. This is eternal life in John 17, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you've sent. So eternity is more than a space of time that never ends. Eternity is the knowledge of God. And what is it? It's to know God. It says that he may know you. Intimately acquainted is no, gnosko. To be intimately acquainted like a husband and a wife. The knowledge of God. That's, that's not informational knowledge. That's uh, revelational knowledge that brings us deeper into the heart and mind of God.